I got a lot of questions to do a comparison video between Procreate Dreams and the other animation app ToonSquid. In this video I'm going to do a comparison and at the end I will give my verdict of which app is the best animation app on the iPad at this moment. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stefan de Groot, a Dutch artist. And I've made uh, tutorials about working in Procreate Dreams and also in ToonSquid. And I've made playlists and I'll leave links below this video. Procreate Dreams is made by Savage Interactive and that's a team of 46 people versus uh, one developer who developed ToonSquid. Savage Interactive worked for five years on Procreate Dreams and they came from left field. They did not do uh, much research in the animation community and they build up the app, you know, in a total different way, the same way they build up uh, Procreate. On the other hand, there is ToonSquid, which is made by one developer and he really uh, looked at other uh, desktop apps and also uh, existing apps on, on the iPad and he developed this app with a lot of features and in this video I'm just going to go over each feature and compare them to each other. Interface The interface of Procreate Dreams is set up somewhat similar to Procreate. You have the gallery, which is called the theater, where all your movies are stored. Here you can make a new movie file and start animating. ToonSquid has the same setup, a gallery with all your movies and the place you can create a new movie. In Procreate Dreams you have some default options for creating a movie and even adjust the duration and aspect ratio of your movie. In ToonSquid you have it all in one window. When you have created the movie you move to the timeline. Timeline. In Procreate Dreams you have the timeline and the stage. ToonSquid has a similar setup, but it looks more like Procreate or any other animation software like Adobe Animate. In Procreate Dreams you can select the brush and start animating frame by frame. When you pull down the timeline you are in the flipbook mode, where you have more screen estate to concentrate on animating. You can use onion skin and adjust the colors, opacity and frames you want to see before and after. ToonSquid has the same features, except the flipbook mode. You always have the timeline, which you can collapse to have more screen estate, but then you cannot create a new keyframe. In Procreate Dreams you can extend your drawing by dragging your frame while holding another finger on the screen. In ToonSquid you can easily move frames around and extend the drawings. Procreate Dreams has one timeline. If you want to create a new scene, you have to group it. In ToonSquid you can create different scenes in the same movie and keep them separate. Drawing The drawing experience in both apps is similar. You have a variety of brushes you can work with. They both have default brushes and you can import Procreate brushes into Procreate Dreams and ABR or Photoshop brushes into ToonSquid. In Procreate Dreams you can adjust the size and opacity of the brush. In ToonSquid you can adjust all of the properties of a brush. You can even turn a pixel brush into a vector brush. ToonSquid has pixel brushes and vector brushes. Procreate Dreams only has pixel brushes. Selection Tool and Transform in Procreate Dreams there is no selection tool or transform you can do in drawing mode. You have to add a keyframe to the timeline and then you can transform the whole drawing using move and scale, warp or distort. In ToonSquid there is a selection tool you can use to select a part of your drawing and transform it in the same way. Layers in Procreate Dreams you can use layers on each keyframe. The only thing you can change is to turn it on or off and adjust the opacity, clear and delete it. In ToonSquid you can add layers, group them, lock them, copy and duplicate the layers, lock transparency, 
set it as a reference layer to separate your inks from the color layer and merge all visible layers. You can also apply all of the blend modes. Groups versus symbols. If you for instance make a walk cycle, you can make a looping animation in both apps. In Procreate Dreams you make a group of your animation and save it on the timeline. If you want to stack more cycles in one animation you want to move around, you make another group and so on. Procreate Dreams is built around that foundation that you can zoom in and out of the timeline with great ease. In ToonSquid you make a symbol that is saved to the library. You can continue refining your loop animation in the library on a separate timeline and import it into the main timeline. In both apps you can use keyframes to move your walk cycle across the screen. Keyframe animation. I tested out a walk cycle of Horace Hippo in both apps using different parts of the body. In Procreate Dreams you can use separate tracks for the body parts and start animating them. The parts are not connected to each other. When you have finished your keyframe animation you need to make a group to move the whole animation around the screen. In ToonSquid you can set up the character with transform hierarchy, so that the parts of the body are linked to each other. It is a much better way to do keyframe animation of a character. In ToonSquid you can use different shapes to draw. You can even animate shapes using vector points to animate them. In Procreate Dreams you cannot. Effects In Procreate Dreams you can add effects to your keyframes like Gaussian Blur and HSB and animate them. In ToonSquid you cannot. Text. In Procreate Dreams you can add text and use the same properties as Procreate. In ToonSquid you can also use text, but there are more options to animate the text with an outline and animate it. Import video. In Procreate Dreams you can import video from Photos and the Files app. You can scale the video, but also warp it or distort it. In ToonSquid you can only import videos from the Files app and transform and rotate it. Audio. In Procreate Dreams you can import multiple audio tracks and edit levels with keyframes and split the audio. In ToonSquid you can import multiple audio files and split them. For each audio file you can adjust the volume, but you cannot add fades. Export. In both apps you can export your video as an mp4 or MOV file. As GIF image, image sequence with transparency or save the work file. In ToonSquid you can also export a video with transparent background as HEVC H265 or as ProRes 4444. In Procreate Dreams the app crashes when you try to export with ProRes 4444. Import Image Sequence If you want to import an image sequence in Procreate Dreams the images are not placed in the right order. They are held for 3 seconds and 18 frames. In ToonSquid you can import an image sequence and then they are placed in the right order per frame. ToonSquid is a much better app at this moment because it has a lot more features but Procreate Dreams will continue uh, developing new features and they're really listening to uh, the animation community because they already have changed some of, of the features and they will keep adding features to the app but I think they released it a little bit too early. With ToonSquid you can do a lot more things and it has a camera and uh, the select tool and it's also better you know to do uh, lip syncing and it's got a lot more features at this moment. I'll keep working in ToonSquid and also make some tutorials on ToonSquid but I also want to keep up with all the new features that will be added to Procreate Dreams. I've made uh, playlists for tutorials on Procreate Dreams and also for ToonSquid. So 
I'll leave the links below this video and at the end of the video you can also uh, tap on the video and go straight to the playlist. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!